Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and my brother and I have decided to become Epic Bitcoin Miners. Now, I don't know that it's going to be an epic success, probably more likely to be an epic failure, but if you've heard of Bitcoin and wondered what's that all about, if you've heard of Bitcoin mining and wondered if that's something the average person can do, are people actually making money doing that? Well, we are going to order some equipment. We are going to try out Bitcoin mining, and you can follow along on the adventure in this series of videos at absolutely no risk to you. Epic review in this first video, I'll tell you something about the whole Bitcoin currency system. I'll tell you about our plan for making at least a little bit of money out of the whole thing and the equipment that you need to order to really have any chance of making some money these days with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is a virtual currency. It doesn't involve anything you can actually put your hands on. There's no paper money, no coins. It all exists basically just on computers, just electronically. This was the brainchild of a tech guy who wanted to see if he programmed in all the characteristics of an actual currency and set this up, would it catch on? Would people be willing to participate? Would it actually gain some real value? And if you've seen in the news lately, it has. People are very interested now in Bitcoin both speculatively, they'd like to buy Bitcoins, imagining that the value will go up in the future. And there are a whole bunch of people, particularly computer tech enthusiasts, who want to collect Bitcoins, who want to not create isn't really the right word, but basically by running the program that allows you to acquire Bitcoins through the computational work that's done, they want to get their hands on some Bitcoins or at least portions of Bitcoins because Bitcoin has actually gone up to over a thousand dollars per coin now so even a half or a quarter of one is a fair amount of money. The way to accumulate Bitcoins is through Bitcoin mining. This is where you have a computing device, could be your computer, a video card, a specially designed device that does just Bitcoin mining and it basically goes through the rocks and soil of data looking for solutions and when it finds a solution that's similar to finding a little fleck of gold. And when you've accumulated enough of those flecks you can take that down to the gold exchange. They will weigh it and convert it and give you the money that you're used to. They'll pay you in cash. It's the same way with bitcoins. Your computing device works through the data, finds a solution here, a solution there, it accumulates some, maybe it's equal to two one hundredths of a bitcoin, you keep accumulating for a few days, a few weeks, till you have some significant portion of it, then if you like, you can go to a bitcoin exchange with your, let's say, a quarter of a bitcoin that you figure will be worth about two hundred and thirty dollars, and you do pay a fee, it gets processed, somebody out there wants to buy that, so they buy it, you sell it, the money comes into your account digitally, but you can go to your bank and take out those exact same cash bills that the gold miner gets for his gold flex. Now while that gold miner is up in the hills mining and he thinks, okay, I've got two ounces and the last time I was in town, gold was going for $500 an ounce, so I got $1,000 there. Well, you don't know that for sure because the price of gold fluctuates depending on what people want to pay for it. Same thing with Bitcoins. There's no absolute value to them. The value can be zero. The value can be $1,200 per coin as it was recently. The tricky part comes when you're spending your own real actual money to buy the equipment that's going to do the Bitcoin mining, anticipating the Bitcoin exchange rate being here. Should it drop down in half, turns out that all the equipment you bought may have been for nothing. Or the price of Bitcoin could increase tenfold and you could become a millionaire. That doesn't happen to a lot of folks, but it's a game like it is really with all investments. It's kind of thrilling and fun, but there's no guarantee of anything. Now my brother and I are not really interested in the speculative side of Bitcoin where you guess how the currency is going to go, whether the value will go up or down and decide when to buy, when to sell. We actually want to do the Bitcoin mining. It just seems interesting to somehow be able to create money out of nothing. It, it sounds like some fantastic machine that you turn on and it just prints money. In a way that's true, but there are a number of variables. First of all, you have to pay for the machine. 
then you have to pay for the electricity that runs the machine, which you wouldn't think would be a major component, but considering this type of device and considering the small amount of money it prints at a time, that's actually a major factor. The cost of electricity where you are and how efficient the machine is that you use. And then finally, there's how much the Bitcoins are worth. You might invest $10,000 in these machines expecting to have the machines paid off with the earnings in Bitcoins in two months but the value of the Bitcoin changes, now it's gonna take two years to pay off the machines. And after that, you might see some profit. So to talk now about the hardware, when this all started, people mined for Bitcoins with their computers. It's basically a program that, as I mentioned, it goes through the data and it looks for the solutions. And when it finds them, you get credit for that. And people use the CPU of their computer. Well, this kind of being a techie, geeky, originally guy thing, of course, people got competitive. And so people, I've got a faster computer than you. Look, I'm, I'm getting more Bitcoins out of the deal. And so the other person would go and upgrade their CPU. Or they might go and buy a faster computer. Or they might buy a server or something. You can put two CPUs into the motherboard. So you got this competition going on. Well, then somebody found that video cards happen to be well suited for this, better suited than CPUs. So they wrote programs that would have the calculations done by your video card. That was much faster than CPUs. Well, that started a whole nother race of people going out and buying more and more expensive video cards, getting machines that you could put two and three video cards in, in the one computer, not to play any games or do anything except the Bitcoin mining. Well, the next evolution from that was these uh, little machines. Somebody thought, well, the video cards are good, but video cards are built to do a bunch of stuff. What if we built a little computer that its sole purpose in life is do running this type of calculation that does the Bitcoin mining? It won't use nearly as much electricity because all of its focus and all the energy going into it is solving this Bitcoin problem. And the really clever people thought, hey, you know what? All these people want to mine Bitcoins. We can make our money not mining bitcoins and worrying about the currency exchange rate and all the rest of that. We'll sell these machines to the miners. It's like the people in the gold rush in Alaska and California. Who made all the money? The guys selling the shovels to the people going up into the hills to do the mining. So a whole bunch of manufacturers and even non-manufacturers, but people who saw the opportunity and decided, let's get into manufacturing these boxes, have jumped into the market. These ASIC machines, ASIC machines, they do one thing. They, they are programmed for that algorithm that goes through the data and finds the solutions. And that's all they do. And they do it as fast as they can for the smallest amount of electricity. There are people spending millions of dollars on hardware to do Bitcoin mining in anticipation of making back many millions of dollars. Well, my brother and I are looking to start small scale. So we found a company that makes um, uh, an affordable entry level machine. And that's what the machine we're looking at is $374. They still have some in stock. It says limited supply, so we're gonna order one right away. Let me show you what it looks like. This is on the website of a company called Butterfly Labs. And this is the little guy right here that's gonna be our mining sluice for $374. You can see a few of the other models there and the price just goes up and up. This is basically a chopped down single function computer. The device actually needs to be plugged into your computer to be able to do its work, to be able to get out on the internet and get the data that it has to sort through to upload the results. So basically your computer has to be on all the time in order to run this device, which is also on all the time. Now you don't have to have a very powerful computer. I've got an old uh, Asus netbook that I'm hoping I'll be able to set up to work with this that just uses a few watts of power. So we are putting in our order for this device and our next video will show us opening it up and setting it up, explaining how it works, how you set up a Bitcoin wallet, the things you need that don't cost any extra money, but basically the, the infrastructure you need to have set up for your mining proceeds to go to and be held on to until such time as you cash them out in an exchange. So when we have that video up and are ready to start mining, I will put a link to that right here. So if after listening to me try to explain about Bitcoin, things are now clear as mud, I did find a book that takes its time and explains things very simply. So if you learn better by reading, I'll put a link to that book down below. You might have a better understanding of it after reading through. But again, you're invited to follow along on our adventure. We're ordering the machine. Hopefully we'll have it in early January. And so we will be reporting back here with our shovel and pick in hand, ready to do some Bitcoin mining. Shopping is easy when you know what to do.